particular journal slash stationery set. It is a compilation of envelopes that I put together, intertwine them, and I'll show them to you. And I came up with this particular set. It is, I'm sorry if my ruler is going to blind you, but I want to uh, measure it. This is six inches. Nope, I apologize. It is, yeah, it is six inches. And from the top of the tab to the bottom is approximately nine inches. And after all of its goodness inside is an inch and I would say very tight inch and a quarter. So let's go ahead and review this. Um, I'm going to take this little paper clip out of its place. And then this little elastic just comes down to that side edge. And then that's how you open this particular journal slash stationary set and I keep saying that because even though it says journal here there's so much more in here to enjoy to use I'm gonna put all these little guys over here to the side okay here we go it's such a beautiful paper and these are all die cuts it's uh, edged with a uh, gingham ribbon and I left the, the back is the same cart a cardstock finish as the front I just cut it in such a way that both uh, the front and the back fit from a 12 by 12 card a card stock paper okay here we go we're gonna pull our first little tag here we're gonna open it up and in the front left you have a little pocket here where you can put your stamps I put a couple little medallions in here that I uh, cut from the collection put it in here so I can show you that this is your your stamp area there's some little tags and it actually says uh, postale right here so postage it's just so cute right here it's postcard I took one postcard ephemera from my collection and I cut it in half so here's one part of it here's the other half that says postcard on it it came out very nice all of this is part of the same collection that I died cut in different shapes and made tags out of it this has a very large grommet and I put little lace and ribbon and twine on the top. It just came out so pretty. Love it. This is a tag and I double sided all my tags so it has print and finish on each side. It has all of these paper clips with these pretty little dangles that I put here with the grommets and the twine and the ribbon as well here. It just looks so nice. I love it. And then you're going to turn the page into the open. And now in here, you're gonna have some cards that pull out of back here. These cards are five by four. And they fold like this. And I inked, double color inked, natural brown inking here with green, which matched the entire collection. And I love the way it came out. I also double punched my, um, my clear stamping with the brown and the green and I also did a little bit of glitter shimmer on the stamp we have the word love we have hope and we have joy you can write in the in the center and in the back of this card doesn't it look beautiful? I just love the way this collection came out. It is absolutely beautiful. And it sits right back here. And I wanted to make sure that everything remained slim. So I either opened it or made something smaller. Or uh, I'll show you the rest of it. It's just so pretty. Then back here are the envelopes to these cards. And I did make each envelope specifically for those cards. And I did a little pearly cue there. And here are the other three envelopes down here. And it fits so nicely. Again, I wanted to keep everything slim. So they fit pretty uh, slim. Three on top, three on the bottom, and it kept it flat. So you have six cards back here, six envelopes right here. And it took very little real estate. Now, when I made these envelopes... You have this extra strip of paper left over and I just felt that you can have it 
you can use it for extra writing space put it inside the card and there was no reason for me to keep it of course i'm a paper, paper fanatic so i can keep using it but i felt this is for you so it fits right back there and it's perfect the size leftover paper fit perfect into this little tiny slot so it was meant to be there then you flip this over and you have this little planner a thankful planner and I printed some pages. Some have journaling pages and it has an entire year that you can plan out in here. Hopefully you can see it. It says planner. You can write your month. You can write whatever you want, the days. You can start the, the remaining uh, part of this year or you can start next year new, wherever, wherever you want to do it. So I left it plain so that you start when you're ready to start planning. It doesn't have to be January 1st. It could be September and it could be a school year. It could be a regular year. So I created this little notepad, sorry, this little planner and it does have 12 months and it also has journaling pages. I also did 2021 calendar and a little minis back there. So this, this little acetate covered planner fits right in here of course I can put it in there it's right in there okay but I want to take this out for one brief moment put it back here so it doesn't glare the camera and this paper is a combination of two sheets of the 12 by 12 that was part of the collection but I love the way it has the music sheet the lines going across so that you can write on here if you'd like you can write it going across this way or you can write it in column wise but it's such a pretty paper that I wanted to make sure I put it in here as well. I put little mini die cuts in here in the little corners. You can write the page, page one, page two, page three, or whatever it is that you want to do. Now, behind this paper, or this envelope, you have lined paper, front and back, that you can do longhand writing, if you would like. Write to somebody, write somebody a letter fits right back here and the envelopes for that paper are right behind the elastic of the front cover so you have envelopes right back here and they fit perfect in this top envelope right there and again keeping everything in the slim that's where that's where this paper goes in there now you have another flap that goes this way and I just love this whole paper this is the same as a cover this is your journal and it comes off from that elastic that seals the whole thing and now you have a journal blank pages lots of pages to go there and you have this paper clip dangle here. It is so pretty. I just love everything about it. It is saddle stitched. It is not string stitch. I use paper, uh, paper um, sorry, staples to put it together. And you can put this elastic wherever you want to put it right back into its little slot right there. So there you have this look. I'm gonna put this back in its place which goes right in here, closes there. This whole thing comes over. This is where your little journal goes, your envelope. You can write title there if you'd like. Here's your little tag. Here's another little tag. Close it this way. And this really pretty paper clip, love the way it came out. All you have to do is take your elastic, bring it over, and you have now closed your journal and put it in place. And I just love the way this little paper clip ended up there. Oops, of course I can do it. One moment, sorry about that. Here we go. And it fits beautiful right there. So there you have it. You have a 
journal slash stationery set. And this will be on my Etsy shop here. I believe this is already my Etsy shop. You can go through it now. So I just want to make sure that you knew what you were getting because I know we only we're only allowed 10 pictures on the Etsy shop. So I want to make sure you have your opportunity to see everything that's in it. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, my name's upside down. Thank